guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Amanda loves perfume and books. Um, mostly I talk about perfume. Um, sometimes I throw some books in there. I haven't honestly read that many good books lately. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm kind of distracted with this whole virus thing going on and it's hard for me to concentrate on reading, honestly. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna do perfume today. So. Um, I had several people on my comments say that I should do a unicorn fragrance video, um, and to me, I mean, I'm just going to do what I interpret a unicorn fragrance to be, which is, a unicorn fragrance is like a fragrance that's just like a unicorn, like, you'd never think that you would see a unicorn, <laughs> you never would think you would find a perfume like this. So, in my opinion, I, it, on fragrance in general, and unicorn fragrances, is that, um, I have a lot of fragrances that I love. I have a pretty large perfume collection. I, somewhere between 16 and 70 full bottles of perfume. I love all of them or I wouldn't own them. The ones that I don't like, I sell. So I, I like all of them. But there is something to say for a fragrance that speaks to you. So my whole life, I've always been this way. I've loved fragrances, all different kinds, but there's always that kind of, it is. It's like a unicorn fragrance that I just, it changes the way that I feel or it I connect with it that's what I call it I call it a perfume that I connect with and I don't even know how to explain that I'm sure it has something to do with your nose and your brain and and the things that I, I don't even know but there are certain perfumes that are special and I don't know how to explain it but they they speak to me they change the way that I feel I feel connected with them there are so many fragrances that I wear and I'm like this is so beautiful this is such a beautiful fragrance but I don't connect with it it doesn't it's like there's a wall in between me and the fragrance or something there's a block and these fragrances that I've chosen are the ones that don't have a wall there's no block they go straight into almost like my soul but I do, sometimes I think of these fragrances that I'm gonna mention and I think about the people that created them. And I think about, oh my gosh, it's almost like they were thinking of me when they were creating this fragrance. And I know that sounds super narcissistic, but that's kind of the way that I feel. Or I think about the, the perfumer behind the fragrance and I think about that person. Like that's how much I connect with these fragrances. I think about it, like I think about them making this fragrance and how did they know that I would love this fragrance so much um, and that it would sink deep into my psyche or something um so um I guess you could call these probably some of my fra favorite fragrances um now I do have some favorite fragrances that I don't connect with on on such on a such a deep level but they just smell so wonderful that they would still make my favorite favorites um but these are my really special fragrances to me um I guess I'll try and kind of go into an order I have some newer ones that I've gotten and then I can go to my ultimate sort of fragrance that spoke to me uh, kind of of all time maybe I think that's what I'll do so I have some I'm gonna I'm gonna do my newer ones to my older ones okay so a new one that I've gotten that and okay the other thing is some some of these fragrances immediately they they're I'm like immediately I connect with them other ones I've connected with them over time it's weird. This one I connected with pretty immediately. Um, this is Wicked Good from Gallagher Fragrances. There's something about this fragrance. I don't know. It's it's chocolate, vanilla, and tonka bean. I will tell you that some of these, I don't know, I tend to connect with drier fragrances. This is a dry chocolate and vanilla and tonka bean. I don't know I don't know what it is about this fragrance but when I wear this fragrance it changes the way that I feel um, I wore this fragrance a lot I don't usually wear the same fragrance day after day after day because I have so many fragrances this I wore for like a solid month and now when I smell it it reminds me of Thanksgiving but this is just I don't know this is one of my unicorn fragrances I I'm not a huge gourmand girl and I think that's why this is like a unicorn gourmand to me because it, I don't know, it just speaks to me. It's like it sinks into that second layer of me. I don't know. But this is Gallagher Fragrances Wicked Good. If you guys like um, chocolate fragrances, you have to check this out. I'm not going to lie. These are not cheap fragrances. 
but they are wonderful. Um, and if you like chocolate, vanilla, and tonka bean, that you have to try this. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a scratchy, a dry scratchy vibe to it, which is why I think I like it so much. I like to a tonka bean when it's really dry and like scratchy. So that's wicked good. Okay, one that I actually just got in the mail. And I want to give a shout out to Lene. Um, oh gosh, now I can't think of what her YouTube channel is. I'm going to link it below. But she, um, her and I like very similar fragrances. And um, she actually mentioned this to me and told me I should get it. So there, this is Prada Infusion, their infusion line. And this is the Amand, which is the almond. So funny story. Uh, the original Prada de Iris or de Iris, whatever it's called. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, that would have made this list if, if I hadn't gotten this one. That one is beautiful. It's a, again, it's a dry powdery kind of scratchy Iris. Um, it's, it's, it, it definitely sinks into that second level of me. Um, it's, it, that fragrance can be, ooh, I don't know, a little much, I always was like, I wish there was one that was like not as powdery and not as, sometimes every once in a while that Prada infusion, Dioris, whatever it's called, will give me a headache. It just, it's like it's too much. So I ordered this one. And when I first, I, I remember when this came out and I saw it at Nordstrom. And I'm, again, by narcissism, my name is Amanda, so I thought... <laughs> I thought this perfume was named after and I thought it was like the French name for Amanda like that he whoever the perfumer was I don't know I didn't know it was almond but I remember when I saw it and I was like at the time my daughter was younger and like I was like didn't have time to stop and smell fragrances because she was like can we go here go there but I remember seeing this and I remember seeing it a lot and I remember it being popular but I just kind of forgot about it well anyway I recently ordered this from Nordstrom and I've only worn it for two days, and it's absolutely a unicorn fragrance for me. This is an almond iris fragrance, and this is exactly like the Prada iris, Infusions iris, but it's a little bit toned down, and it's a little bit more um, close to the skin. It's a little bit more of a skin scent. It's more comforting, but it lasts, and those are some of my favorite fragrances. My favorite fragrances are kind of skin scents, but that last that you can smell and smell and smell. And I actually put this on before I went to bed last night, woke up this morning and I could still smell it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it checks all the boxes for me. This is absolutely gonna be, is a unicorn fragrance for me. I, I love it. Um, it's just, it's like it was made for me. Again, I think about the people who made this fragrance and I think, oh my gosh, how did they know I would love this fragrance? So this is Prada Infusion Amand. I think that's how you say it's got heliotrope, tonka, um, and then it's got musk and almond. But again, it's got that tonka bean. I think I like tonka bean, but I only like tonka bean when it's like kind of thrown in and it's a dusty, dry one and it's kind of like just in the background. It's not like tonka bean. Like, I don't like Feb Delicious. It's too much tonka bean. So anyway. Okay, so I talk about this fragrance all the time. This is... 1000% a unicorn fragrance to me. This is Amethyst by Lalique. Um, oh my goodness. This goes straight. I mean, the minute I, I remember I got this on Scentbird and I sprayed it and immediately it did that thing where it goes, it, I connected with it. It was like it changed something in my like brain woke up or changed or did something. This is a Black currant, I think, and black bear. It's a berry musk fragrance. I love everything about this fragrance. The initial spray, the middle of it, the dry down, everything. This is my in my top ten favorite fragrances. Um, this is just this. This is like if this is just a fragrance that I just am obsessed with. I absolutely love it. Actually, anybody who's interested. So it is. Oh, I don't even know the date. Ah. It'll be on the it'll be on the video. If you go, it's on clearance right now on FragranceNet. It's twenty five dollars, and this fragrance is like one hundred and fifty dollars at Neiman Marcus. Um, it is twenty five dollars. It is all it took for me not to buy a second bottle of this for twenty five dollars. But honestly, 
I mean, this is a huge bottle. I just don't know that I'm gonna need it. And I'm trying to force myself to wait till a bottle is empty until I repurchase another one. It's kind of a bad habit. I like to hoard fragrance. Okay, so this is, oh my goodness, you guys. Glossy are you. I love this fragrance. This is a very papery iris. So I'm coming to realize that some of my favorite um, notes are iris, tonka bean, I do like black currant in a fragrance. I like musky fragrances, but this is a unicorn fragrance. I think most people would describe this as a unicorn fragrance because it's it's this like smell that you can't describe. It's like a papery, irisy, kind of a wet cement, that really good, not 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 the pedicure or whatever this, I don't like that. It's like a wet cement, but a sweeter wet cement. This definitely absolutely changes the way that I feel when I spray it. It just, it does something to me when I wear this fragrance that is just, I don't even know how to describe it. I also like kind of non-perfuming perfumes. I've realized that as well. Um, all of these actually are, are not super, super perfumey if you think about it. They're not like floral, they're not, they're kind of this like weird, musky, skinny kind of scent. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a unicorn fragrance. Um, this bottle, I can't really tell how much I have, but this is one I would hoard. Like, I would be devastated if they stopped making this, literally devastated. So it's glossy or you. Okay, so I know that this probably makes a lot of people's unicorn fragrance lists. So the story about this is I kept hearing about this fragrance and I kept hearing about this fragrance and I kept hearing about this fragrance and I didn't know, I couldn't figure out a way, this is Molecule One, I couldn't figure out a way to try it. This is my third bottle of Molecule One, you guys, and I'm not kidding you. So I, when I first bought it, I bought a one ounce, went through that super fast. Then I bought the big one, the 3.4, and I went through it. I just threw it away last night. It's gone. I, I was down, I mean, there was none left, and now I'm on this, and I'm already, I've already used quite a bit. Um, anyway, so when I first heard about this I didn't understand it. I couldn't figure out what it would smell like. Well, I was in a store one time, a, a random like cosmetic store, and they had this. And I was like, it was like I was paralyzed when I saw it. I like saw it across the room. I was like, oh. So I went over there, and I sprayed it, and I didn't smell anything. All I could smell was alcohol. And I was like, what? I was so disappointed, and I left. I was like mad. So I left the store. And it, the store that I was at, it was, it's like this outdoor kind of mall type thing. So I was like walking around the mall. And about 15 minutes later, the smell started. That was just, I was like, I literally turned around and started walking back to the store. Could not get back. I was like practically running to the store. <laughs> and I was like, I have to have this. Because it was just the smell that developed. It took a minute to develop on me. But it is, this is a woody fragrance, ISO E Super. Um, again, this is that ethereal... Um, this literally, in my opinion, could have a picture of a unicorn right there <laughs> because it's just, it smells otherworldly. I mean, it smells woody. It smells like pencil shavings, a little cedary. To me though, this is literally takes me to another place when I smell this. It is just, this is my, t this is, if I had to wear one fragrance, if I could only, if my house was on fire and I could only grab one fragrance, it might be this one. Um, because it's just, it's wonderful. I also mix this. This is a great layering one. You put this on first and then you spray your fragrance on top and it will last a lot longer. I will tell you, this goes wonderful with florals. I have some florals that are like, whoa, really floral. If I spray a little bit of this on there first, it, I don't know, it does something to those floral fragrances that is just beautiful. So I think that's partly why I run out of this so fast is I mix it with a lot of other fragrances. So in all honesty, that's probably why I run out. Oh, oops. Okay, so this one. Okay, so this one, I, I think it, this is Untitled by Mason Marson. Mason Martin Margiela. So he makes the replica lines that everybody loves. And the replica lines are, is so cute and fun. They smell great. They are, I mean, they real. I mean, people are like die hard for those. But this was his first fragrance. Not, nobody talks about this. So this is kind of embarrassing, but like literally, I went to the mall one time and there was a lady there with like this fragrance and she was like 
do you want to spray? Do you want to spray? And I was like, I don't know. Usually I say no, but I, I, I said yes. And she handed me the card and I was like, oh my gosh, that fragrance. And I literally bought it right there. It was like full price, super expensive. It just came out, but I was obsessed with it. This is my second bottle of this. And this is a big bottle. I rarely go through bottles of perfume anymore. Um, this fragrance is um, Green Notes, Jasmine, and um, Incense. And I will tell you why this is unicorn fragrance for me. And I've explained this. It, it, you guys can fast forward if you've heard me describe this. But this fragrance smells like a little bit like stale cigarette smoke. Almost like a, a, a girl that has been out at clubs the previous night and she wore Jasmine perfume. But she was around smoking. She may not have been smoking, but she was around it. And she wakes up the next morning and it's kind of that like dirty, but still you can smell the floral fragrance. And it's a little bit green too. It's, it is green. I don't know. This fragrance, again, it this makes me feel like I'm a different, different person. When I, when I wear this fragrance, I feel like I am a, that girl. I'm a girl, a beautiful girl um, that lives in New York City and that goes out at night with her sophisticated friends and she smokes but only when she goes out and but she wears a beautiful fragrance and but this would be like what she smells like on like Saturday or Sunday morning when she wakes up um, it's just this like sexy slightly dirty it's fabulous. Now, not everybody's gonna like this. I do not recommend, some Some for fragrances that I will flat out say you could buy this without smelling it. This is not one of them. This is a very particular fragrance. Only certain people are gonna like this. This speaks to me though. And I think about him, this guy or whoever the perfumer was, I think about when they were making this fragrance, what were they thinking? I mean, they were thinking exact, I, were they thinking what I'm thinking? Were they thinking that's what they want this to smell like? I don't know. I just I just love this. I love the bottle. I love everything about it. Okay. So this makes my unicorn fragrance. It, it would not make a lot of people's, but this is a very special fragrance to me. This is Burberry Woman. I mention this a lot in my fragrance videos. Now, again, a lot of people are not going to like this. This is slightly dated. But I wore this when I kind of was first married and when I was like pregnant with my daughter, um, this fragrance is a very cozy fragrance. This fragrance makes me just instantly feel safe and calm and cozy. I don't know, this is like my, this fragrance is like when you walk into your house after a long trip um, and you're just so glad to be home. That's when I spray this fragrance. That's what I feel like. I feel like I've just come home from a trip. It's, it's this, it's a very warm fragrance. I've described it like warm sunshine, like when it's really cold outside, but you find a warm spot, like somewhere and you sit there, like for your work break, you go outside and, or, or another thing is I used to work in an office a long time ago and it would be so cold in there. And I remember when I would go outside for like lunch or, you know, a, a, my break or something. And it, that feeling of that be, feeling so warm, that's kind of what this, um, I don't even know the notes in this. <laughs> I've, I almost don't want to know the notes to this because I feel like if I knew the notes to this, it would ruin it for me. I don't want to know what's in here. It, this is like a little bottle of magic for me. Um... I might grab this fragrance as well when I was running out the door on a fire. I don't know, it's just special to me. Um, I wouldn't blind buy this, but if you're somewhere and you can smell it, um, don't go off the initial smell, like the initial, it, this has to dry down um, to give you that sort of cozy, homey feeling. Okay, so my last one. Um, this is probably my number one unicorn fragrance. Number one because it's discontinued, it's been discontinued for a very long time. This this bottle has gone off a little bit, but I can still smell what this smelled like. Um, this is Hello Girlfriend by Betsy Johnson. This was um, kind of popular probably in the year 2000. Um, she made this in her boutiques. Again, this is a very non 
perfumey smell. It's kind of that musky skin scent. Um, my friend, the, how I found this fragrance is my, my best friend at the time wore this. And I just, she literally was like the day, it must have been the day or two after she got it because I spent like tons of time with her. And she like walked by me and it was this smell and I was like almost, par I was like, what is that? And I literally ran out probably that day or the next day and, and got it. And I wore this for several years. Um, and then, you know how we do, we get tired of fragrance and we move on and I, moved on and she discontinued it and I know I didn't even think about it until year 10 plus years later and then of course it was gone I found this on eBay I had to pay a lot for it um, because it was like one of the last ones there and it's still that when a perfume starts to get old and go bad um, sometimes that first initial blast will smell bad but then if you let it dry down, it dries down to the original fragrance. That's what this does. It, 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 when I first spray it, it's kind of like, hmm. It has like a, almost like a, you know when olive oil goes bad? It, it's got a little bit of a twinge of that, but then it, once it dries down, it smells exactly the same. I just, I, I don't use it because I don't like that initial blast of kind of rancid smelling. But if I can get past that, and every once in a while I will, um, but this is definitely my number one unicorn fragrance. If they, if she still made this, I would probably, I would wear this every single day. Um, so I don't know. This makes me really sad. Every time I see this, I feel so sad. And I don't know why she doesn't still make this because this is such, this would be so popular today because this kind of falls into that category of kind of that weird, I don't know. I feel like everybody loves those fragrances that are kind of like weird, like, you know, people love Byredo, they love the Labo, they love those kind of like different fragrances and that's kind of what this is. It's like a musky skin, musky kind of warm skin, dry, scratchy fragrance. Anyway, I love it. So those are my unicorn fragrances. Um, they're very special to me. I'm actually glad I did this video because it kind of made me compile my most special fragrances and it makes me feel good to know that I have them in my collection most of them are all still readily available um, but my biggest fear is a company discontinuing a fragrance and I can't get it because that's happened to me before <laughs> so anyway um, let me know what y'all's unicorn fragrances are in the comments I love 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 y'all's comments I love to hear what fragrances you love but yeah let me know what your unicorn fragrances are I, I just I want to know so I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoy my video and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.